Hi, my name is Rose Hominick. I'm a senior consultant with Pampered Chef Canada. And this evening I'd like to introduce you to my deluxe cooking blender. Tonight we're going to be making some strawberry rhubarb jam and it's going to be a dietetic uh, recipe and I'm going to be using Instead of sugar, I'm going to be using an equal amount of Swerve sweetener, which is a very, very good quality sweetener that is um, useful for people who have diabetes or who are on low carb uh, diets. And so I have a dear friend who is a diabetic and I have promised her that I would make her some jam. So this is actually for our friend Pamela and she's really, really gonna enjoy that. So in the canister I have one pound of rhubarb and one pound of hulled strawberries. And I also have the juice from one lemon. And we are about to start this off by making sure that the lid is secured. You heard the little music sound so that you know that the lid is secured. Now we're going to turn the um, the blender onto the jam setting. And there we go. And we're just going to press it to start. Um, so what will happen is that the, the cooking blender will start. It will um, heat the, the, the fruit to 200 and probably 218 degrees. And then it will go into add mode, at which point we'll put in the sugar and uh, then it will continue and bring the sugar um, and the fruit to about 220 degrees. And then you have basically there, uh, your jam is done. And then we're going to remove the jam and put it in a container and we're going to add five tablespoons of organic chia seed. And that's going to enable the, the uh, jam to gel a bit, to become, in, in other words, to become jammy. So we're not going to be using Cerdo. We're going to be using chia seed. And that is a really wonderful thing to add to your jams because it has lots of fiber, it has lots of nutrients um, that of course Cerdo doesn't have. And it will thicken up your jam and make it nice and jammy for when you want to put it on your toast or on your scones or whatever. So we're going to start this off and I will come back um, when it's ready to go with the understanding that in between this time and then the add cycle will come on and I will add the sugar. So I will come back when the jam is done. So I've prepared all this fruit. I've put it in here with the one, the juice of, a, of one lemon. And now I'm just going to do this and it's going to stir. So you can hear that it is a little loud, um, but it will, um, it will continue to work until the jam is done. So we'll see you back here and we will have everything ready to go into bottles at that point. See you soon.